All right, when I went and got my calculator to do this uh, calculation, I actually went and changed question number two to a better question. So um, just be aware of that. If you copied that down, just recopy it uh, differently. So anyway, um, <clears throat> we're going to uh, divide 800 by 120. And on the left side, we have I left over for current. Sorry, on the right side, the equal sign, we have I left over for current. And on the left side, 800 over 120 gets us 6.67. And that'll be A, amps, for the unit for current. All right, so it's the current coming from the microwave. And I'm going to add a little flare here and use a colored pencil. It's right, 6.67 amps coming from the microwave there. And... Now for the refrigerator, plug in 400 for the watts for the refrigerator. 400 equals always 120 because we're a parallel circuit in the kitchen here. Same voltage in each plug. Divide both sides by 120. And I will be all by itself on the left side because 120 will cancel on the right. Sorry, I will be all by itself on the right side because 120 will cancel. And on the left side of the equal sign, we could do it on our calculator, 400 over 120. Here gets us 3.33. Again, we'll just do two decimal spots around there. Equals I. 3.33 amps equals I. All right, now for the toaster, the big energy user, because it uses so much heat, 100 watts. You don't need to write the W when you plug it in. You could just write, sorry, 1100 equals 120 for the voltage. Again, the same number for the voltage because we're in a parallel circuit. And we'll divide both sides by 120. On the right side, I will be left over. And on the left side, you could do it on your calculator. 1100 over 120 gets you a big number for current. Round to two decimal spots, 9.17 amps for current from the toaster. So there's your current from each device. I'll write in the refrigerator here, 3.33 amps. And I'll write in the toaster on our diagram too. This isn't always necessary, but it does give us a good visual, say 6.67, 3.33, .33, and 9.17. And in a parallel circuit, all three of these, before they go to what was the battery before, but before they go to the circuit breaker box where the switch is, they're gonna add together. Uh, so we could say we have a total current here going to the battery. I T. It's the total current, whoops. I'll switch to a regular pencil there. The total current is going to the switch there. So how much is our total current going to the switch? What is that equal to? And that's the big question. Is it over 15 amps? Then the circuit breaker will trip. All right, so let's add up our numbers here. We have 6.67 plus 3.33 plus from the toaster 9.17. And what do those add up to? When you use your calculator, they'll add up to 19.17 amps, well over 15. So definitely that, that switch will trip because 19.17 uh, amps, let's write it out like this. 19.17 amps is greater than the 15 amp switch. So circuit trips. All right, so now question two here, write that one down. If you had a 20 amp switch instead of a 15 amp switch, if you had a 20 amp switch, will the breaker trip? So if I had 20 amps right here, 20 amp switch with the circuit trip, well, what a 20 amp switch means, and you could buy the different amp switches. You could buy uh, at Home Depot, five amps, 
switches, 10 amp switches, kind of in intervals of five, you know, five amps, 10 amps, 15 amps, 20 amps. And you could just yourself, if you know what you're doing, you can uh, turn the power off and switch um, to a 20 amp switch in your breaker. Well, what that means is now if you go over 20 amps, that's when the circuit will trip. Okay, if you go to 21, 22, that's when the circuit will trip. So it kind of gives you room for more current if you have a higher amp switch, okay? Because now, 19 amps before, it was over 15 amps. But if I have 19.17 amps going into a 20 amp switch, now it doesn't go over, okay? so. 19.17 amps, if I have that flowing to the circuit breaker, it's actually less than a, a 20 amp switch. So, circuit does not trip. So I wouldn't suggest going to Home Depot and just switching to a 20 amp switch more if you allow more current to flow it could cause a fire and your wires not be might not be able to handle it so uh, if you have the skills to do that I wouldn't just do it without asking a professional first if your wires can handle more current um, remember 15 amps is a is a safety level if you go you're, you're supposed to say if you go over 15 that's a problem that could cause a fire so um, some wires can handle more amps, and you could put a 20 amp switch in, but an electrician would be the one to, to know if you could safely do that. But if you have a 20 amp switch, these all three would stay on because they're not over 20 amps, okay? Um, now, for question three, let's switch back to a 15 amp switch. You could write that down, not question three. So I'm gonna switch my drawing back to 15 amps here. And I'm gonna say, well, what if we turned off the microwave? And I'm, I'll put a big X through microwave, just say, I turned that off. What if I just had the toaster, question three X, and the refrigerator on? Just those two. And I'm back to that 15 amp switch over here. Now that I turned the microwave off, I don't really know what the total current is. I don't know that it's 19. 19 amps was when um, I had all three of them on. I added all three of the currents to make 19. But now what I want to do is I want to add up the amps from the toaster. It's 9.17. And just the refrigerator, 3.33 amps, because those are the only two that are on right now. Let's see how many amps I get from those use my calculator and when I just have those two on I have 12.50 amps for my total current so my total current is when these two are added up and they flow to the breaker and when just these two are on without the microwave I add up 3.33 and 9.17 and I get 12.5 amps flowing to the breaker does that blow the circuit does that trip that that switch well it doesn't seem like it uh, because 12.5 amps is less than that 15 amp switch so circuit just like it did not switch when 19 did couldn't go over 20 12 and a half can't go over 15, so the circuit does not trip. Yeah, so if I tell you, I could give you any kind of combination. I could say, what if the microwave and the refrigerator are on? Today I just chose, what if the toaster and the refrigerator are on? And just add up those two and see if they go over the switch number. And uh, that's it. You, If you get the total current when you add together these these currents and look at what the number is for the switch see if it goes over and that's it if it goes over it trips the circuit